In this video, we're going to do a confirm box, a confirm pop-up. So it's like an alert box, but there's actually a confirm or cancel button included. So we're going to go ahead and do this in brackets. We've worked a little bit in the console, we worked a little bit in brackets. I think it's important for you to go back and forth between an editor and the console. You need to be comfortable with both. Uh, no, I'll worry about that later. Okay, so here we have our awesome JS that I came out from last time. There it is on my desktop. We did this last time using buttons with an alert, but we're going to do something different instead. For right now, let's go ahead and actually, let's just trash this. So we'll do JavaScript confirmation box. So in the body, we're just going to go ahead, we're just going to start with the script code. So here's our script tag, and we've got that going. Actually, I'll, yeah, I'll go ahead and let that be indented. And in this, we're going to do var x equals confirm. And we'll just put hello for right now. Semicolon. Actually, let's just go ahead and run that. So if I save this and we launch it, let's launch it in Chrome. There we go. Hello. Cancel. OK. Which one do you want to press? So it worked, right? But if we press cancel, is there anything different? No, nothing happened. There's no, nothing really happened either way. Now let's go ahead and just put a heading on here anyways, just so you can see when that's loading. JavaScript confirmation box. So Command S, Chrome, hello. There it loads. So if we refresh, right. Okay. Right now, nothing's happening, which makes us really no point. Why didn't we just do an alert? We have two different buttons, right? We have an OK and we have a cancel. So those buttons could actually, they could actually do something. Let's add a little bit more. OK, so we're going to do if x equals equals true. This should be in parentheses. So because this is our condition, then open curly brace. OK, so just to know, when you have a single equal sign, you are saying that this x becomes this. However, when you have two equal signs, you're saying that this x already is this. So it is already true. So if I were to do x equals true, that would be confusing to the computer because it would be saying if x, not even if it becomes, but, but, but if x make true. So you need two equal signs. So that way it knows that it's checking to see if it is equal, not that it is currently trying to make it equal while it is doing this. All right, so open curly brace. And we'll need to close that curly brace. So there we go. So we have them matching up. And then we're going to have else, open curly brace, and then close curly brace. So if x equals true, this is going to happen. If it doesn't, something else is going to happen. So that true is whether or not the user presses OK or whether they hit cancel. So if they hit OK, it becomes true. And if they hit cancel, then this will happen. So let's just go ahead and test it out. So instead of taking my word for it, let's try it. So we're just going to put alert in parentheses. You pressed OK and semicolon and alert in parentheses you pressed cancel semicolon so if we save it and we refresh it let's see if it works okay 
I did. I did press OK. Refresh. Cancel. I did press cancel. All right, now there's other things that we can do with that too. It doesn't necessarily have to be just like that. And maybe, maybe you don't want to necessarily be bringing up another pop-up. Pop-ups aren't that great to begin with. They tend to annoy people. So we could also instead make this a console.log for both. And so that way we can make sure it's working and that it's doing what it's supposed to. But also make sure it's not annoying the user. So, okay. No annoying pop-up. Let's see what the console log shows. You pressed OK. From awesome-js.html on line 13. And if we look, sure enough, line 13. Now if instead we press refresh and we press cancel, you pressed cancel from awesome-js.html from line 16. And there you go, from line 16. So you can use the console log to make sure that things are working without having to use alerts. And the nice thing about that too is if you want to remove those messages later, if you miss one, it's not really that big of a deal because it's not going to annoy your users because they're not going to see it. Most people aren't going to be browsing around the internet with their console log open. So you don't really have to worry as much of if you forget to remove a console log as if you forget to remove an alert. So that's great, right? So, so what, right? So what else can we do with this? So instead of just hello, maybe it says like, want to see a cute puppy? And if you press OK, then maybe it shows you a cute puppy. So let's do document.write. And in here, we can do image src. equals and there we go these are just a couple images off of Wikimedia Commons since they're public domain and then this is ooh, important to get both sets of quotation marks Ooh, although the double quotation mark is a bad thing, so let's try switching that to single quotation marks, because either one is fine, as long as you're not mixing and matching. There we go, that looks better. Sad face, nope, just sad, not sad face. Sad dot PNG, and let's see if this works. Okay. There we go, there's a puppy. And if you don't, very sad. Who doesn't like puppies? Come on. All right, so if we go to the JavaScript console, you can see here you pressed cancel, and thus the sad face. You could do this with redirects as well. So we could actually tie all of this to a button, like we did with the alerts, where it would then toggle this once you hit a button and that button could redirect you to different places uh, you know wherever so there you go there's a confirm box with a couple different things that we did with it including modifying the document itself we'll play with more javascript that will also make changes to the actual html document and we'll go more into that and uh, be a little bit more specific with how it changes things as we move along but hopefully it's starting to give you a little taste of what you can do with things